In this video, I'll be going through how to get started with Microsoft To Do and showing you some of the core features of this. So if you're looking for something to use as a task tracker, organizing your day and tracking all the little things that you need to do for different projects and categories of activities, then Microsoft To Do is one of the best tools that you can use. I've been using it for a couple of years now in my job as a digital inclusion project manager and it's really effective and it's really simple to use and has cross-platform integration so what do i mean by that you can use it on your mobile device on your tablet and your laptop and it'll all sync up so the information and activities and things that you include will all match up uh, and i love the interface of it as well uh, as i said it's very easy to use very slick interface let's dive in so first up is to head over to the microsoft website just go through google uh, put in microsoft to do and you'll find the link what i would highly recommend is that you download the desktop app uh, so it's a really great app to use you can go through via the the web app but i prefer using the desktop app and it's pretty much the same as the windows version so i'm using mac on here and the same as the ipad so once you've downloaded it installed it then it'll ask you to set up an account or log in if you're using it for the first time you'll set up a new account logged in this is what it's gonna look like um, so as you can see it's a super slick interface minimalistic very visual i love this space here and it just allows you to really focus as well on what it is that you're doing so to get started you just simply add an activity so let's put complete reporting um set up networking event i'm just making these up as i go um create youtube video on microsoft to do and let's say some of these activities take a couple of different steps so complete reporting there's there's multiple steps to completing that task so it could be gather data from stakeholders uh, input data into tracker then add additional business unit data uh, extract and summarize uh, let's see uh, import or input into the month and tracker so this is the series of steps to go through roughly there's other steps to go but as you go you can tick them off and I love this part of it there's a very satisfying sound nice as you click and it's crossed off so you've done that as you progress just tick them off uh, go back to the activity complete it and tick off so this helps you to plan in addition to track and then keeps you on track to completing those different activities and there's different themes available so you just click over here the lighthouse that's i don't know the serengeti is it i don't know total guess a beach you can change that or you can just have a, a color etc so i think that's that's really cool um so one of the ways that i set up and organize my activities is through setting up lists so on here over here on the bottom left if you just click new list so let's say priority list so i'm thinking what's the difference between priority list and creating different lists and my day so my day is activities that you can build that needs to be completed on a certain day and then when the next day comes this gets wiped and then you start again rebuilding a list with the priority list or one of that list is called that you name this will not change so let's add a few uh, activities into here so just making these up take out the trash um recruit some volunteers uh what else paint paint the kitchen i'm just totally making these up and yeah i think we're good three of three is good enough um so these these won't change so next day you come these will still be live and then you can build these out so what i how i use it and i guess this is a, a tip uh, in, in a way to use microsoft to do is uh, when a activity comes across you're in a meeting 
um, and you're jotting down your key activities I jot them straight into here so it could be that you type in meeting with Christine I've just made that up you can start adding all the subtasks or sometimes what I do I use do my notes in Microsoft OneNote and then build out just the important bits and tasks the actual task into here so it could be uh, the Princess Trust is is a charity that I do a lot of work with and some actions that came out of that might have been fundraising, sending a report, etc. So when, when the next day comes, I've still got this priority list. And you can keep building these lists out. Uh, so another one that I have on my work one, work account, is training. So I might come across something while I'm planning my training. So it could be, let's say, Skillshare. There's an Ali Abdal. YouTube I can add in here and then what I could do is I can add some links and notes over here so I could go to Skillshare oh it's got some other creators as well yeah so just to show you an example anyway and you can add a note over here you can set a reminder due date uh, you can repeat it as well if it's a recurring uh, activity uh, other lists you can build is household home activities to do you know research change the internet provider and so on so you can keep building different lists that you can keep on on top of it's a really great way to organize things uh, and you can uh, share these with others so you can you can integrate it with Microsoft planner invite others to collaborate through some of the, the settings so if you go over here you can connect with someone invite them via email to collaborate so it could be maybe a shopping list or uh, something that yeah I can share with my wife in terms of the the household chores and activities uh, things that we we need to do so that was Microsoft to do I hope this video has been helpful and this tool does help you as well if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments and if there's any other tools that you potentially use that are better let me know Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.